Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you a really awesome new user interface for local LLMs. Uh, essentially, it looks like ChatGPT, but you can load all of your local large language models into it. So if you've been playing around with Alpaca or Llama or any of the other local models, you can load it into this interface and it's really clean. It's pretty early. There were a lot of bugs getting it set up, but the developers are extremely active, very responsive, and you can always hop into their Discord and ask them questions. Let's dive into it. This is Alpaca Turbo. I'll drop the link in the description below. It's available for both Windows and Mac. Previously, it was done with Docker, but they've since switched to Anaconda. And they still do have the Docker installation, but what we're gonna use is actually the uh, Miniconda installation and it's available for both Windows and Mac M1, M2. Now, something to keep in mind is port 5000 is a reserved port on a Mac for receiving AirPlay. So Alpaca Turbo attempts to use port 5000 and that causes some issues. So what you're gonna need to do is actually disable AirPlay. And I'll show you how to do that. Now, I don't ever need to receive AirPlay to my laptop, so it's not a big deal. But of course, if you do need it, then this might not be for you. So the first thing we're gonna do is install Miniconda. I already have it installed, but I'm gonna show you how to do it anyways. So you're gonna click this link right here. You can also just Google Miniconda or Anaconda, go to the homepage and download whatever version is right for you. So click here, put it on the desktop, save, Miniconda 3. And so you would just go through these steps. There's not much to it. You just click continue a bunch of times. It'll install it and that'll be the end. So I'm not gonna do it because I do have it installed already, but all the other steps I'll go through together with you. Okay, next, right here it says, download the latest Alpaca Turbo Zip from the release page here. So we'll click that link. And the latest version, which was updated eight hours ago is 0.5. So we'll go ahead, click here. I'm gonna store it on my desktop. It's downloading. It says it may be dangerous. Do you wanna send it to Google? We're gonna skip this, but I have done it before and it's okay. So double click, it unzipped it to my desktop. I'm gonna throw away the zip file because I don't need that anymore. Open up Alpaca Turbo and there we go. There's everything we need. Um, so next, let's head back to the instructions. So the next thing we're gonna do is actually place our Alpaca models uh, directly into the Alpaca Turbo slash models directory. And so that is found right here. It's gonna be empty for now because we don't have any in there, but let's go ahead and put one. Now, there's a list of models, Alpaca models, that are compatible with Alpaca Turbo. I'll drop the link below to download all of the compatible models with Alpaca Turbo. So Alpaca Turbo is compatible with the newer Alpaca models. They are typically a little bit over five gigabytes. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that over here. And the next thing we're gonna do is get our Conda environment set up. So you're gonna open up Terminal. I use iTerm. Now I'm gonna CD out to the desktop. So I'm gonna hit LS so I can see what folders are on the desktop. And I see Alpaca Turbo, so I'll start typing. And then I can hit Tab and it'll auto-complete. And I actually need to hit CD first. And now I am in the directory in Terminal. And then that's where I'm gonna type Conda init. And that initializes Conda in that directory. And then I'm gonna follow the rest of the instructions here. Uh, Conda create. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that come back to the terminal, I'm gonna paste it, conda create dash n alpaca turbo python 3.8 dash y. Hit enter. And it's done. Next, I'm gonna activate alpaca turbo using conda. So again, copied it from the page, paste it back in terminal. Conda activate alpaca underscore turbo, enter. There we go. Now you can see I'm in alpaca turbo. Then I'm going to pip install our requirements. This installs all of the Python requirements. There we go. Now it says requirement already satisfied because I've already installed it, but you'll see it's something a little bit different. And then we run python api.py. Okay, so we got a little warning, but not a big deal. It just says that this is a development server. And then there's one last thing. So I mentioned that port 5000 is gonna be a problem. So we're gonna open up our settings we're gonna come here, we're gonna type AirPlay, AirPlay receiver, and you're just gonna turn this off. So this was on for me previously, and you're just gonna select it off, and then port 5000 will be available. So had you actually done this Python API.py before turning it off, you would've got an error, but I had it off already. So just remember to turn it off before running that. So now I'm up and running. 
I'm gonna grab this URL, copy it. I'm gonna come back to the browser, open a new tab and paste it in. This 127.0.0.1 is essentially pointing to the computer. It's this local computer. I'll hit enter and there it is. There's the interface. It asked me to choose a model. I'll go ahead and choose the one and it already populated with the one that I have in the models directory. Click, change, it's loading the model. It's gonna take a few seconds. There it is, loaded successfully. Close and we can get going. So one thing I really like is it tells you your RAM usage. So I have 24 gigs of RAM and I'm right now I'm using 17 and the CPU usage. The interface should look really familiar. It kind of looks like ChatGPT, uh, but it's really simple. So what day is after Friday? Go, it tells you how many seconds it is. Saturday is the day after Friday. All right, so uh, write a poem, 50 words. Okay, that didn't do quite what I thought it would. And let's try something different. Um, what is the first amendment of the United States Constitution? There it is. The first amendment of the United States Constitution is the freedom of speech. So like the Alpaca models, they're pretty good. They're not fantastic, but there's a lot of new models being produced. And I'm gonna have some other videos on some of these new models such as Vicuña, and Hugging Face GPT, and there's a lot of really cool models coming out that are gonna just continue to get better. But as friendly developers continue to build cool stuff like Alpaca Turbo, Dolly, GPT for All, all this stuff is gonna progress really quickly and it's gonna catch up to ChatGPT, and I'm really excited about it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.